This tool will explain drawing and selection capabilities. These four icons control vector drawing. These three icons affect the vertices of vector shapes. I'm going to start with the circle tool, which when I depress for a second shows a submenu with seven primitive shapes. I'm going to select draw rectangle tool. I'm going to sweep from one corner to the opposing corner, defining the size of the rectangle. By default, it filled with white and bordered with black. I'm going to change the fill color to that. Or likewise, I could have changed the fill color to a gradient. And delete that. The next tool is a line drawing tool where you draw point by point. You click on each point with the mouse and you double click on the last point. I'm going to delete that. The next tool is very similar. I'm going to get the submenu. This first tool connects the last point to the first point and is filled and the second tool doesn't connect the last point to the first point and I'm going to select that one. And at this point I'm going to select the fill color before I start the drawing. And double click. And that's how it behaves. And the last tool is draw like you would with a pencil. You just keep the mouse depressed until you're finished and release. I'm going to draw a rectangle to illustrate the three tools associated with changing the vertices. This tool deletes a point. This tool adds a point. This tool adds a curve point. This is a point selection tool where I can select a point and move a point, select a curve, move a curve. Likewise, I can use a lasso tool. This is a the shape selection tool. I can click on a shape or I can lasso a shape. That concludes the tutorial on drawing and selection.